what's up everyone it is your girl gl beauty 87 here aka grace and today we're gonna try a new brand out so we're gonna try out beauty moon cosmetics shout out to one of you all my subscribers that sent this over to me we were talking about it in the new makeup releases once and one of you all was so kind and sent it out to me and i truly appreciate it so we're gonna try it out today along with this lip icon i got in the shade number 25 it's this nice milky pink shade which i feel like would be perfect so if you know me pretty well, you must have been watching pretty well because this is definitely a shade that I would have put down for myself. So let's see what the inside of the palette looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's called Divergency. It's a nice unique color story. I'll give them that because I feel like a lot of times when you see palettes like they're similar to other people's palettes. So I like the fact that I feel like this is a unique color story that I definitely don't feel like I have in my collection. So I'm liking that. Now to figure out what I'm going to do with it as far as the eyes go. So let me zoom you in real quick and cute like i know i look a little crazy but see what had happened was i tried out the new um makeup my barrio blushes and i bought three so i want to put all three shades in one video so that's why there's like blush across the middle of my nose i come myself doing the what was it, strawberry like blush or the the i forgot what they called it where you put like a, a bright tone blush across your nose and it made it look like you were like blushing across the nose or whatever i forgot i don't keep up with trends but yeah so uh, that's what's going on, on my nose so this is strawberry crush on the nose this is papaya pop on this side and then i have um paradise pink on this side which actually is the one that disappointed me the most paradise pink because i was expecting it to be more red tone not be like pink i mean it has the name pink but i don't know to me it just looked more red and now it just looks kind of like dull compared to the other brighter shades that were maybe because it's on some of my skin tone if it was someone lighter skin tone maybe it'd be more vibrant and bright and reddish pink as opposed to like a dull down pink but that's what it's giving me and it's a little disappointing but you know oh well it's here i'm here we're all here it's too late so i'm gonna go off camera get my life in order and then we will come back with the eye look and figure out what i'm gonna do okay girl okay okay y'all so this is the eye with the palette i'm gonna go ahead with the gloss on now this is the shade number 25 and these are called lip icons. I feel like I should put lipstick on underneath it, but it doesn't look too bad. I can definitely see me rocking this with like a soft pink lipstick. And just put this on top for some extra oomph. So she's a cute color. I'm here for this vibe. So let's get into this eye look. So I did. So I did these two shades right here. I took this purple. I took this row and these. So I mainly use everything in this section except for this. So I used this half of the palette minus this yellow shade. And that's how we got the eye look that I'm working with right now. Okay, y'all, we gotta talk about Euphoria because, honey, that is just a bit of a whole hot mess. I don't. I, I guess they didn't learn from, you know, that yellow pig, them not having the right pigmentation in a um, product. But before I get into that, this palette retails for 28 euros and it's on pre-order right now. So you'd have to pre-order and wait for it to come. It says it has nine pigmented blendable mattes and six buttery shifty chrome shades. So I did swatch the three I put on for you all to see. So look at that. Like, tell me those little look fire. So this is the one that's on the lid called, what is it called? eccentric then i put the shade flicker right here on top of it and then the shade unnatural is what we have in the inner corner so those look amazing to me i'm gonna start off with the two deep i mean the neutral tone shades so i did this one and this one and combined them and that's how we got our transition shade but yeah honey let's talk about you for it because honey honey they just they just they just can't get right i don't i don't i don't know so i was on lemonade if you all do not know i do have a lemonade i do like talk about dupes and comparisons but to me lemonade i heard it's supposed to be more like pinterest so it's like i have to write these really long captions and give a lot of detail and all that other stuff which i'm trying to adjust to and then i usually just copy and paste it to my instagram i'm not even gonna front but um uh, anyway so i was on lemonade and this girl made this post about how she um they had the worst um influencer program or whatever and i was just like oh child lord 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 so i was like here we go with these people so let me see if i can pull up what it said now that I talked to you all about what we needed to talk about, which was this. She said they're the worst ambassador program ever. She said she recently got, so I recently applied to the Euphoria ambassador program and they accepted me a day later. 
like other programs you have to co complete few tasks to get your welcome gift but unlike other programs that only ask for you to follow their pages or something that, for, that takes only a few minutes euphoria forces you to write a review even if you never tried their products so it's like ho 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 you ain't never tried anything with this brand but you supposed to lie and say it's wonderful it says, I submitted my test saying I had never tried any of their products and will not write a made-up review. They declined my submission and told me to write a general review on a product page. I went ahead and wrote a review on a bundle saying I didn't try any of the brand's products but the packaging looked nice. What? Then the last onboard mission opened up, which is sharing a selfie with a product on your feed. If you don't have any products, they tell you to go to an altar and shoot there. Are you, you just heard what I said, right? So, I mean, if we go over all the scams these people have already had, it's like, how many more scams do you want? Cause you, child. I'm gonna take the shade contrary, the um, purple, and put it in the front. But yeah, I was just too done. I'm like, so she's saying that they told her she had to lie and say she tried a product when she done. So first of all, if I'm a consumer and I'm reading these reviews and hopes to get general and honest reviews, I'm not getting them because you're just telling people to fill out stuff just so you can sell it to me and lie and say that they liked a product that they've never tried. Like it's crazy. Like, are, are you serious? It's no way. But then, you and coaching people on going in the store and lying, picking up testers, and showing pictures of it in order to make sure that they're promoting your product even though they've never used it. So you just let anybody in this program essentially and have them lie in order to boost your brain. That, that's what this is telling me. So you already had the instance where you didn't come up with enough shades. After you had the incident where you didn't come out with enough shades and you call yourself fixing it, you screw that up and now you're lying for reviews. Like, this sounds like some Sunday Riley stuff. Or do y'all remember that when they were like paying employees or forcing employees to write reviews just so to boost up the products? But it's like, y'all already had good products, so why did you do that? With them, I can understand just accepting anybody in the bachelor program and forcing them to write whatever just so that they can like try to save themselves because they've been in so many scandals. It's like, from what I remember, Sunday Riley was an enemy scandal, so I don't understand why they did what they did. But with them, I totally understand. It's like you're grasping for straws. I'm sure shareholders or you know your um investors are not feeling the way that you have fumbled the bag several times over because they told you make as many shades as you want you didn't have models you didn't have foundation shades to match anybody then when they told even though they told you that you didn't have a budget so they told you you didn't have a budget you still want to bullshit on the shades that you should have made for everyone then after you bullshit on the shades that you should have made for everyone then you went back and called yourself trying to fix it but then didn't put any undertones or any thought into the, any of the ones that went for deeper skin tones now y'all here trying to get people to lie in your ambassador program in front of some of those small creators who you know like may not necessarily get as much attention as other people it's like i feel like they're preying on that so essentially you're trying to play on people like me who like hardly have a following or hardly have any opportunities for pr it's like yeah go ahead and lie for us and we'll like you know put you in this affiliate program because to me that's just very much what it's giving i don't know how you feel about it but i'm like when i read that y'all i just i couldn't let me cut this real quick and then we'll talk a little bit more about it because she wrote some more so i i just read that little bit while i was doing this here with you hold on so we're gonna put on the shade Divergent now, which is the um, pink shade and the name of the palette. So forgive me if I'm holding my head down a little bit to read what they're saying, but I figure you wanna hear this. So it says, what a joke as an ambassador program that troubles you with all these, forces you to write a review and share free content on Instagram just for one product and a sticker sheet. I have never experienced an ambassador program this bad. So they only gave her one product and like a sheet of stickers after they told her to lie about not even having the one product and post on your feed the how much you loved the one product that you picked up in store and just ran the show to make it seem like you bought from the brand you didn't like i just like everybody shouldn't run a business and i that's very much what the ceo is giving because it's like all this unethical stuff i'm hearing and all this like 
blatant discriminatory behavior that you're exhibiting, everyone's money is green. What is she not understanding about that? Everyone's money is green. So if everyone's money is green, why don't you treat everyone the same since you want everybody's green money? Or is you don't want everybody's green money, but you want to have your way about everything? Because that's very much what it's giving again by not being inclusive and not doing what you should when it comes to ethics in a brand because ethics in a brand tells us that you shouldn't be having people lying saying that they're trying stuff and using it and talking about how wonderful it is and then having them lying going all to stores and post pictures with stuff that they have in the store and my whole thing is what if somebody gets caught one day doing that and then it's seen on their feed later on and then you go ahead and you know get called out about that because it's like I can just see it happening I'm just waiting for it to happen honestly because it's like you just doing too much I'll be glad when this brand is gone and I hate to say that but it's like if you can't do any better than this you can't keep up with things the way you should and run a business ethically then maybe you shouldn't have a business like maybe they should make the CEO step down like they did with Lime Crime and just you know get somebody who's competent to do it because it's like you don't want to be inclusive you doing unethical things like telling people to lie about trying your products and all that other stuff now the girl did show pictures that she did say what she said she didn't show the um email of the person at uh euphoria that told her to do that but she did show i'll try to have some stuff pop up over here she showed about how the girl did all that and i was just like child this is a whole hot mess like just just shut it down so some people in the comment section who are kind of like me, they're like, well, I wouldn't want to buy from this brand now anyway. I mean, I've never bought anything from them before. To me, they gave off wannabe drunk elephant vibes with like the colorful packaging and all that like drunk elephant does with the neon stuff. So I was like, I don't really care about you anyway. But just the fact that she was like, what's your experience with ambassador programs? And somebody was like, oh, this is so bad and degrading to be honest. I'm like, yeah. He's like, I will not be buying from this brand because I won't know if the reviews are legit or not. And that was my whole thing. Like, how are people supposed to trust that these influencers are telling the truth? And you putting yourself in a bad position as an influencer because if you're small and you want to grow bigger, people can tie you up in this scandal. And I was like, oh, so and so wrote this review saying it's wonderful. And we don't know if they even tried it or not now. Like, you're putting yourself in a real vicarious position just for, what did she say, one free product and a sheet of stickers like no it says wow this is misleading and time wasting that's crazy i'm like yeah so five only five people commented on it but i was just still on the fact that you know i'm like are they serious right now like tell me down below how y'all feel because i'm just over here like look i don't rock with you anyway but it just seems like you keep digging yourself in deeper and deeper holes because more and more stuff just keeps coming out about this brand like i just i don't know but I know for sure I won't be buying anything from them. I was done when I saw that um, foundation scandal. I don't know what it is, but I, you know how you just have a feeling about certain things? It's like with that brand, I was just like, oh, you know, it looks cute or whatever. But I was like, I just, I just didn't get the vibes I wanted anything from them. And it's like seeing all the stuff that has happened with them, you know, it just makes you feel justified in having the vibes and not want to be bothered with you because you don't want to make shades for people my skin. So then after you do, you do the shitty job of doing so can't pick out undertones or do anything of the sort go to the airport to try to find models instead of you know like hiring models the way you did with the lighter skinned people so the black people should do it for free after you didn't want to be bothered and didn't want to make the shades for them but such an uproar came that you had to appease them for lack of a better term and i don't know if y'all knew that or not about the airport but yeah i watched um i think it was dustin daly's video where he was saying how she went to the airport and got some darker skinned people to do like the shoot for the website so i'm like you didn't even you couldn't even pay black models to show these products the way you paid all the other models that are on the lighter end like you are but the black people should do it for free and you should do a half-ass job of making them a product but they should buy it from you and be grateful like i'm telling y'all like i i hope and pray that they have enough sense to get another CEO because she is not it. She has no idea what she's doing. She does a really crappy job. Why did you think it was a good idea? I'm going to put the shade slicker on top now. 
And y'all know I usually don't get into drama and talk about stuff like this, but I'm like, it's just too much. Like, you you doing way too much now. Now somebody say something. So I'm gonna say something. I haven't seen anybody else say anything about this, but the girl literally, I think, just posted it today. And I just happened to see it because Lemonade is the one place I will actually look at the For You thing. Like on TikTok, I don't rock with the For You thing. I just follow whoever I follow. I'm going around with a date. But on there, I actually look at the For You. And that's how I found out this story I'm telling you. Because I was just like, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Now we're gonna take a shade Unnatural. These are nice, soft, flaky, like shimmers too. Like the, you know, like the, um, mushy soft shimmer formula is what these shimmers are giving so it's like that wet metallic feel which I'm here for and love is giving extra sparkle and love but let me back you on up now that we talked about that I like the look I love the metallics in here I do feel like you have to build up the mats a little bit so I wasn't necessarily crazy about having to build them up but it wasn't like too bad to where it's like you built up for like 20 minutes and you didn't hardly any pigmentation it wasn't that bad but it is um you are gonna have to build up the mats in this palette so that's just something you have to keep in mind but i'd say it's worth it for the eye look that i came out with i love um the blue shade i feel like it's a unique shade of blue because it doesn't seem like it's a traditional like just navy blue that i put on the outer so i'm really liking that and the shimmers in here are amazing. The shimmers are definitely a star for me. Like the mattes, I feel like they could do a little work on just so they build up a little bit easier. You don't have to build them up so long. Like I said, it wasn't a really long time, but you know, I did have to build it up quite a bit. But that would be good for beginners because it's like you might not want too much pigmentation or you might not know how to blend it out um, to where it doesn't look harsh. So it's good for people who are new to makeup. But because I'm not necessarily new to makeup, I just find it annoying to have to build up lots of shadows, but that's just me. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. Make sure you subscribe. My membership is down below if you're interested. And comment down below and tell me what you think about the next Euphoria scandal. Because I feel like they didn't have about two or three now, so they like veterans at it. But <laughs> be blessed, girl. <laughs> Bye. Okay, y'all, let's go from day to night with this cute little two-piece situation. So there's actually a pair of matching shorts that goes with this, but I'm starting off the day real cute like with a pair of distressed white jeans with this nice shirt. My necklace is from J. Crew. If you want to buy this set, which you'll see the shorts in a few moments, we go to the night portion of this little short. You can get them from my Posh Mark page. I'll have it linked down below, but I thought this was too cute. I have one extra small, one small, two mediums, and one large for anyone interested. But this is what we're working with. This to me is a perfect little daytime brunch with the girls situation.